uh, welcome guys. So this video, uh, we are going to uh, give a, a induction proof how to prove the Hermitian matrix is diagonalizable. Okay, or well, basically Hermitian operator. Yeah, before I start, uh, you have created a linear algebra proof. Basically, I think, uh, because I think that uh, I mean, the people in the physics department, or the, I mean, the double department that uh, people like to use linear algebra, but the, but the problem is that the, the linear algebra proof is actually uh, important and the people always for, uh, for, forget, right? So, so you will, so you will uh, use a lot of fact that uh, you, that basically, the, then basically you, you usually forget. Okay, so this one is so so important that uh, everybody's remember, but uh, everybody's forget. Okay, so in this video, let's prove the Hermitian matrix. So this is not trivial. Okay, this is very non trivial fact. Okay, so before I start, let's uh, let me just give the notation. So, or basically, you can you want to say that the Hermitian operator. Okay, so our settings that t is a, a v is a finite dimensional complex uh, uh, in a, a complex vector space. Yeah. So, and uh, since it's complex vector space, so it can uh, it has the inner product. So it's also inner product space. So let's define a Hermitian operator. So the Hermitian operator define. Okay. So A is a Hermitian operator if uh, A X Y equals to X A Y. So yeah. So this is the different. This is the inner product. So X Y are inner product. Are inner product. So basically, you can you can uh, you can you can give the standard inner product space. Standard inner products basically is x y defined to be just x uh, dagger times y. So dagger means that you change transpose and the complex conjugate a complex conjugate each coefficient and transpose. So if you use a standard way standard basis, then uh, these these results will give you the standard definition of the matrix. Basically, a is a dagger or basically a Hermitian. So or basically a transpose. Also, a uh, complex conjugate transpose or a transpose and complex conjugate. Yeah, there are these are just notation, so not not so important. Okay. Yeah, but this is definition is very very uh is the I so I would say the most important definition. Uh, compared to the the, the I mean this still this still be one. Okay, the diagonalizable means that the the eigen vague the eigen space. So this is also important the eigen space. Okay, so I should say the eigenvector of A will, will be a span, right? The span of eigenvector of A will be the all vector space. Yeah. So, or basically, yeah. I mean, or basically what you're saying is that the linear, the number of linear independent eigenvector will just be a, so basically, you can find the nonlinear independent eigenvectors. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is the standard uh, the standard results. Okay. At least, at least is the standard the standard uh. This is the standard notation. Okay. So in order, so this is non. So one uh one fact in the, like the people in the quantum mechanics or the. The I mean the engineer department that the people you 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 know that uh, if A is Hermitian, but this is a trivial fact that I already proved in the, my previous video. If A is Hermitian, then all like a vector or all, all like a value, right? So I like all like a value is real. Okay, so so this is trivial, right? But the non-trivial part is that A, A, A is diagonalizable. Yeah, so this is the this is what uh, I want to prove in this video. Okay. Okay, so the proof is very uh the proof is very uh abstract. I mean there are a lot of ways, but I like to I like the various uh, I, I like the abstract way. Okay, so let's give a lemma. Okay, so a lemma says that if you view A is a so A is a linear transformation, right? So you can view A is a V from V, right? So so uh, what I want to say is that uh, uh, this lemma says that uh, if okay, so if you take any sub, if you take a subspace of V, so W is a subspace such that uh, such that A W is a so A W means that uh, basically image A, uh, so image A restricted on W. So basically, you pl plug all the vector in W and create a linear subspace. So such that A W is a uh, contained W, then 
then the W complement, then the A, uh, and a dagger W complement will uh, sit inside the W complement. Yeah, so this is the, the lemma, okay. So the notation is that the W complement basically is all a vector in your dimension, in your vector space such that uh, their inner products is zero for all Y become up in a W. Okay, so basically you, you take any subspace, right? And then you can create a so-called complement space, basically collect all the vectors, which is uh, in the product with the, all the vector in W should be zero. Yeah, so this is called W complement. But then the theorem says that uh, if you have a, if your linear transformation such that A will, uh, will fix the W, so basically the AW will sit inside W, then the A dagger W complement will sit inside the W complement. Okay, so this is the, the, the final, the, import, the, the only lemma that we need to prove, okay. So I'll prove a uh, trivial, right? So, so in, well, we are trying to prove that uh, A dagger W complement let's uh, sit inside a W complement. Okay, so let's, so, so we can take, uh, let's take, uh, let's take X to be uh, W and y to be w complement. Okay, so x to be w complement and y to be w. So let's see. So we have a uh, x a y. So this now is a general linear transformation. Okay, so it's equals to. Uh, let's see. So x a y equals to a dagger x y. Right. This is a definition of dagger. So from here that the uh, from here, you know what you 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 know that this is zero, right? Because this is because W dagger a W complement and this guy, so Y is inside W, right? So A A Y will inside W. So this is W complement W will be zero, right? So from here that uh, this is W, right? So you know that A dagger X belongs to W complement by definition, right? Because this is for all Y. So now you prove that uh, if X belongs to W complement and X belongs to W complement, so you prove it. Okay, so uh, uh, what's going on, right? So now we, we need to prove that uh, A is Hermitian. Basically, A dagger is A, then uh, A is diagonalizer. Uh, shoot, sorry, diagonalizable. Okay, so the proof is uh, goes the introduction. So introduction, uh, sorry, induction. Sorry, not introduction, induction. Okay, so for uh, dimension is, so let's time, uh, work around dimension uh, V, right? So if dimension V is one, then three. Okay, so let's suppose that the uh, dimension V is a uh, minus one uh, is correct, is correct. Okay, so basically, I want to show that the dimension V is a minus one. Okay, so, uh, so maybe let's, let's introduce more results. So A is, if A is Hermitian, right, then A is diagonalizable and uh, the basis, and I want to prove that the basis can be choose, uh, can be chosen to be uh, also normal. Okay, so this is what I, what I want to prove. So I want, to, I want not, I, I not only prove that which is diagonalizable, I prove that the, uh, the basis is to be also normal, basically, basically a unitary. So that's why uh, usually in the uh, in textbook that uh, if uh, you know A is Hermitian, then you can write A is U D U dagger if uh, and this diagonal uh, and the U is a uh, uh, unitary. So this is the standard result that people like to use and this, uh, like to use. I mean, thousands of times, right? But hard to remember the proof. So the most dimension of minus one is correct. And correct means that uh, if the if you have a matrix uh, which is a, a minus one times a minus one, then the it's diagonalizable and the basis can be uh, choose or a uh, unitary. Okay. Okay. So now uh, let's assume that uh, we have a matrix. Uh, we have operators on V, and the dimension V is. N. Okay. So let's see. So I already know that there are always an eigenvector, right? So I can pick. I can pick any eigenvector, let's say U. Uh, it's an eigenvector, is a eigenvector of A. Okay, so I, I pick I pick U is an eigenvector of A, 
Okay, so you can pick you could pick anyone, right? Because I uh, there's a proof that uh, any matrix always has has, has an eigenvalue, an eigenvalue. So I pick I pick a u uh, is eigenvector of a, so u is now zero. Okay, and I normalize u to be one. Okay, and I define w to be span u. Okay, and the easy to see that now v can be separated into two parts w uh semi uh w direct there is some w complement okay so and also so by and also uh by definition right since a is eigenvector of, of uh so u is eigenvector of a right so a w will be c inside w right because uh w is eigenspace so from our lemma that we have a dagger w complement should c inside w complement but now a dagger is the same as a, right? So a, so we have a complement c inside w complement. So the far final result is that a w complement c inside w complement, which tell you that, uh, which tell you that what? So I'll tell you that uh, one can view a as a w complement to w complement, right? So by induction, so I know that the uh, a I know that the W complement should has dimension n minus one because I come I project one 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 vector right. So by induction, I know that A has a matrix representation. So A has a basis. Let's say U one. Uh, let's say sorry U two U three up to U n minus one, uh, which is also norm. Uh, which is also normal. Okay. So and this is a. Uh, basis on a W complement. And I know that V is a direct sum, sorry, it's a W direct sum W complement. So A has a basis. So A, a restricted on W complement has a minus one basis, right? So A has a basis of U1, U2, up to U of minus one on all W, right? Because now this, so now A can be factor through into U1 and the U2 up to U of minus one, okay? And by definition, since W and W complements are all, uh, are all their inner product are zero, right? So we know that U1, U2, up to U1 minus one uh, on, uh, on whole V are also normal. Okay, so this is the proof. So, so induction step is actually uh, very beautiful that uh, you only, actually you only need this uh, simple lemma once you have this simple lemma, then uh, you can show that uh, any Hermitian matrix is not is diagonalizable, and their basis can be chosen to be all no, also no. Okay, and then in the next video, uh, we will prove uh, more general results that uh, if you have a matrix, let's say a dagger equals a a dagger, this is called a normal matrix. Okay, or in the in the there is a also a operator form. And the fact that the uh, theorem is also important that the uh, spectral theorem says that a normal matrix, uh, a normal matrix A is diagonalizable. And the basically, uh, and the basis is also uh, also normal. So you can form the unitary. Okay, so from, the, uh, from here, we know that uh, this theorem will give you us the two results. The first one is if A is Hermitian, right, then the, the theorem should work, right? Because Hermitian is basically a normal, normal matrix. The second is also similar, uh, similar results as unitary matrix. Uh, it's diagonalizable. So this is also gen the general results that uh, that people I like to use. So any unitary matrix you always diagonalize. Yeah, so basically no matrix is much more uh, general than the usual, than the Hermitian matrix. So, and also these theorems also, uh, I think it's common use. Yeah, so I, I, I will provide a video proof that uh, all the normal matrix are diagonalized. And the proof should be similar as, uh, the, the proof should be similar as the first one. Okay, so yeah, yeah. It, I think that's it.